More than three months after Coon Rapids experienced one of the worst storms in decades, residents are still recovering from the damage left behind. And as CTN's Jordan Rylance reports, the sheer volume of requests has forced the city to modify how it's handling inspections. This is a major event. The hailstorm Coon Rapids experienced June 11th means hundreds of homes are in need of repair. In fact, it has more than doubled the amount of permits issued by the city in recent months. On average, the city issues less than 1,000 permits a month, but this year that number spiked to 1,800 in July and nearly 2,500 in August. Golf ball size hail destroyed siding and roofs and left homeowners like Mary Lee Greeley in shock. We were took, taken off guard. I had ice in the flower beds until 3 in the afternoon and it came you know, more at like quarter to nine in the morning. With the storm came the damage, and for Mary Lee, who has called Coon Rapids home since 1978, it was the first time she ever filed a claim. The city came by and uh, examined it afterwards, and I was actually in the house. He, he talked to our son, and it was done before uh, I even realized he was here. But the city, along with local contractors, are trying to keep up with the demand for materials, permits, and inspections. There's gotten to be material backlogs and dumpster backlogs and disposal backlogs. And so that's delaying the response time for these contractors. When it comes to city inspections, which are required after a permit is pulled, processes have had to change a bit due to the volume of work. Four inspectors are performing about 80 inspections a week and inspections are being tackled in larger areas at once. We're trying to handle it in blocks and we're trying to handle it in, in, in certain areas and certain neighborhoods to save on travel time so we're not driving from one end of the city to the other, which can take up to 20 minutes. Since Blaine and Coon Rapids were both hit hard by the storm, Brady advises people to be patient with the repair process. We're not doing a scheduled time inspection unless there's a problem or a complaint. We're putting them into a separate folder and we're doing them as we have time. For residents like Mary Lee Greeley, the work of the city and local contractors quickly fixed what Mother Nature destroyed. Overall, we had good experience. Another important point the city wants you to remember is to keep your inspection record taped to the front of your door so city inspectors can have access to it. It will either be yellow or white. And if you are getting a new roof, your contractor will leave photos of the ice and water barrier protection as proof with your inspection record. Those photos are important for city inspectors to see so they can verify the work was completed, so homeowners are asked to keep the photos with the inspection card. If the inspection card remains on your door and hasn't been signed, it means the city inspection has not taken place yet. Once it is signed, it means the inspection process is completed. And you can also look up inspection results on the city's online permit site, coonrapidsmn.gov slash epermits. For CTN Community Update, I'm Jordan Rylance. If you'd like more information on how to find a reputable contractor for home repairs, just head to our website, ctncoonrapids.com, where we posted a link.